Arlington, Texas. We're live inside Globe Life Field. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today's starter, Nathan Evaldi. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Next offering upstairs. One and one. Hey, and a foul ball. Ball. And another ball. Out to short, Seeger throws across the diamond, one out in the top of the first. Take a look at the lineup. Raphael Devers up to hit. Jack swing and he held up. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Davers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Garcia ranging back on it. Just missed it. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now batting Tristan Casas. And that is in for a strike. 1 1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The wind of the pitch. Bouncer to Young. Sends it across to first, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back on the hill here today, Lucas Giolito. Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. He's got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same go. arm slot and really staying in that tunnel the for a good bit. Bottom of the first. Here is Marcus Simi. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. The pitch. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. Puts it away for the out. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. 
They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. One out, base is empty. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Freed. They played together in oh. high school in Los Angeles, and they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports Hi. using MLB to show. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Two outs, space is empty. Next one misses, and a count even, one and one. In the air, right field. Abreu snags it, and that is that. We played an inning, no score. Second inning Leave set to go. Home. Now it's the DH, Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. No They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And it goes just foul. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you look for something down in the zone, but not too far. You want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And quickly one away in the second. Well, that splitter out of the hand. It just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top. And that's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four seamer. Here's Trevor Story. That's a ball. ball one low. Ivaldi. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. That's in there, one and, one. and it's one and one. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Lowe makes the grab for the second out. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Willier Abreu in the box here lets that one go for a ball. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. That misses, and that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. And the 
right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two down, nobody on. In the air, left field, down the line, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. But that rolls foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Caught him looking for the K. Nothing doing for Boston. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. One of the best in the game against right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, that's another story. But why the kick the pitch? And that one wrapped foul. Singy, is this more common today? Guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side? I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial period anymore. I mean, with the analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct. So if you don't figure it out quickly against certain types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. Slings it across. Just got him on that one. Here's Josh Young. That's in there. Strike one. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. And here it comes. On the ground, right side. Whips it to yeah. Casas. And a couple of quick outs. That is quick. The first baseman. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And first offering is fouled off. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Lifted in the air, right field. Abreu drops steps, heads back on it. And that's the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Here with my Leading pal Siggy. Right Here's Tyler O'Neill. The left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Ivaldi back to work. That's in for a strike. That big curve inside's a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of the hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. That one hooked foul. Just missing there, and it's one and two. It's a good take. In the air, out towards left center. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Boog, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Vaughn Grissom getting ready to hit. Ivaldi checks the runner. O'Neal back in on a dive. And a foul ball. Now 
next offering is down low. And strike two. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Three, two. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. That is not the Petra. Connor Wong. Next to hit, Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That one fouled off. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And the righty deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Carter makes the grab. Two away down. The center field, number 15, Duran. Now batting Jaron Duran. He's over one. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because. So On to first, and that is the inning. One left for the Red Sox, and we are still scoreless. We go to the last of the third. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Up and in, and the count is one and one. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Leody Tavares. And yeah, there's the strike. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that's too high. One and one. The pitch. Outside corner, there's a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. First and second, no outs. Next is the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. Swings and misses. Strike one.
and a pitch on the ground right side over to story for one and two in time to first for the double play for me that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield the first baseman has to get inside create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play and then from there completing it back to first really good job all the way around now it's Marcus Simeon he's 0 for 1 right through there for a strike Not close with that one. One and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Oh, and he can't handle it. Gets away. No advance, though. The Rangers with a chance to score first here in the last half of the third. Oh, that one at 95 missed up Ray top. Ball. And the count is filled up. Corey Seager in the on deck circle hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses the first. And Simeon is out. Inning over. One left for Texas. Still no score. As we go to the top of the fourth, and stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. No ball. One strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, no strike. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Oh. And another ball. Two and one. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. This one high in the air to left center. He's got it. Out number two. The back of the cup. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Went down on strikes his first time through. And a foul ball. Fourth inning underway. No score. Top of the zone for a strike. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Red Sox go down 1, 2, 3, and we're still knotted at 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. So now it's Corey Seager. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there. He owns the home plate area. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. 
Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. The shortstop takes the ball. This one in the air right field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Now batting right fielder. Adolis. Adolis Garcia the next to hit. Slap the other way. Foul. One down, base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. That one ripped left field. O'Neill going back on it. Up against the wall and brings it in. Just pulled oh, off of it a little bit right three. there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Carter batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And the Rangers set down in order. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. New inning getting started. Here's Trevor Story now. The shortstop. Trevor Story. Evaldi back to work. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Young drifts towards it. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Will your Abreu now at the plate? Ball. And that's inside. off the inside edge. Ball one. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Low. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. So two down now, and here is Tyler O'Neill, doubled in his first A.B. And that one fouled off. On the ground to third. Young tossed the first, and O'Neill is retired. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. Halfway through this one, still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Down the third baseman, Josh Young. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Inside just missed. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. 
Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Just no, off the ball. outside edge. 1-0. and oh. Ripped on a line. Abreu snags it for the second out. Now that the catcher. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. And he's already singled in this game. Late with the swing there. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. He swings and fouls one off. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Rangers go down quickly there. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Top six. Here's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn Grissom. Here comes a pitch. Ball one there. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Popped up. Seeger settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. The batter. The catcher. Connor. So stepping in for Boston. Connor Wong. Applied to left his first time. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. In the air, center field. Tavares settles under it. Hauls it in for the out. The batter. The center fielder. Jaren. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. First pitch, and he just misses. And that one in the air center field. And that's the third out. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. And we still have no score. And we're back. Go. Now we go bottom Little six. Rangers. Digging in, it's the, the speedy Rangers. outfielder, Leody Tavares. Tavares. And the right hater back to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. 
One away. Now that the designated hitter. Ezekiel. And stepping in is the speedy Ezekiel Duran. He hit into a double play his first time off. Line drive, speared at first. And he handles it himself for the out. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Marcus Simeon will hit next. And he grounds one back up the middle. Whips it to Casas. Rangers go down in order. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Rafael Devers. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And he deals. That's and that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Just missed. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. So Devers will take his base. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Next offering way upstairs. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground right side. Four, Got six, it. three. And they turn the double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That's hard hit in the line. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven inning stretch. Back here with my pal Ligon, Siggy, the bottom Rangers, of the seventh. Seeger stands in down. The right hander back to work. Foul ball there. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. The 0 2. One and ball. a curve misses outside. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it.
And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And he'll one. And there's a base hitter to left. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. Just missed. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. High fly ball down the left field line. Two down. The third baseman, number six. Young. Young. Josh Young getting ready to hit. Giolito moves to first. And he's back in safely. And there's a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. And he makes the catch. And that is the inning. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. Eighth inning coming up, and we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. And stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Ivaldi back to work. Swing and a tapper. And he grabs it foul. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The shortstop takes the ball. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Yeri Rodriguez is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Lats getting cranked up as well. Not even close there. Now two balls and a strike. Wouldn't chase that time. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Willier Abreu waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Nathan Evaldi, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. New pitcher on now, Yeri Rodriguez. Number 57, Yeri Rodriguez. No outs. Runner at first. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. Story on the move. That's in for a strike. 
safe at second with a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. And we're in the top of the eighth. Up and in and one and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And a count one and two. At the belt and fires. Ground ball right side. And that's a base hit around third. Here's the throw. Safe. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Ball and one. it's even up. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Three. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Righty delivers. Just misses with that one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That one out to right. Garcia heads after it. Nabs it. And there's one away. Up next to the left side. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. Vaughn Grissom. That's down it away. Run around the goal. And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. Swung on, looped into center. Calls it in, and there's two away. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives don't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. This one popped up. He's got it. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on the pitch fastball for a strike it's 0 and 1 meanwhile activity in the bullpen Kenley Jansen the hard throwing righty is up and loosening looking to get the tying run on base off the middle that's a base hit off to a good start with a leadoff down 
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Substitution now at first base. Entering is the pinch runner, Travis Jankowski. Number 16. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. First pitch misses. One ball, no straight. Righty to the plate. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Giolito keeping an eye on him. And here it comes. Jankowski on the run. With the tying run on at first, here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Rudder goes again. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Skips in the dirt. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Devers brings it in with a nice running grab. The center fielder, number three, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers, one for two. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Ripped, but it curls foul. So the tying run at second. That's in there. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And one and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Man at second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. the batter now Ezekiel Duran and fouled off This is the zone, and now it's even one and one. There's a swing and a miss. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. So coming into the game now on defense, Justin Foscue. He takes over as the new first baseman. 
And now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Ball one, no strikes. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Here's a 1 1. Oh. And that one a little bit high. Come on, Are you kidding me? And he hits a ground ball right side, oh. and it goes just foul. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Carter makes the catch. One up, one down. Now batter, the third baseman, Rafael. And here is Devers. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. The wind and the pitch. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Tavares, as this one sized up, makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, the first baseman, Tristan. Now a chance for Tristan Casas. A little bit high. Ball one. Oh. And another ball. Two balls. No strike. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Left field. Carter on the move. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Back here with my pal Singy. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Why to kick the pitch? I mean, his pitch efficiency, Billy to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, like the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. One one. And a count one and two. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind, dominating stuff out there on the mound. Seager in the box, lays off for ball one. One down, base is empty. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone! We are tied! A towering shot, and we have a tie ball game. It's 1-1. One, one. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that and now Alex Cora is out of the dugout and he will make a move for the bullpen Lucas Giolito will depart and as he heads for the dugout we'll take a quick break new arm on the mound when we get back
So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Chris Martin. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 55, Chris Martin. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. One for three. Swing and he popped it up. Casas gets there. He's under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Man, he just now couldn't lay off right there. Me. Those high fastballs, Ever. they just look really good because they're Ever. eye level. But they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Evan Carter. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. No, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Trying to send this to extra innings. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. That one inside. Ball one. And the right-hander deals. Fastball in for a strike. And a count one and one. And a big swing and a miss. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Justin Foscu in the on-deck circle for Texas. Right-handed reliever. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. With the winning run on at first. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. to extra innings and now the DH Masataka Yoshida and a pitch rips that one to right he's got it runner tags up for third the throw in save a move coming at third base. Pinch running for Boston. Bobby Dahlbeck. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Anything but a strikeout here. This at bat could end up defining the game. Deep breaths in the box. And there's the strike. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Run around at third, one gone. High fly ball, right field. Garcia settles under it. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. 
The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Trying to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame him, but the defense was having none of that. Close play at the dish. The tag applied just in time, and we'll push on with a tie ball game. Now into the game, Bobby Dahlbeck. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now playing first. Justin Foscu stepping in for the Rangers, taking his first at bat here in extra innings after coming in on defense. Here comes a pitch, and that's off the inside edge, and that's ball one. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. And it's second. Sets him down looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. So a change being made out at second. The pinch runner for the Rangers, Josh Smith. He's the potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. And that one fouled off. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. With the winning run standing at second. And we're in the last half of the tenth. Oh. And a good eye oh. there. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. The winning run on second base. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And the righty deals. Cold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Leody Tavares, the next to hit. That clips a corner. Fall off foul. And that's outside. And the count one and two. And that's in the dirt. And that's a strikeout looking. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Your now into the ball game on defense, Josh Smith. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third baseman. Still stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Rodriguez back to work. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Line drive. 
Squeezes it. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Garcia quickly throws it in. And the go-ahead run stops at third base. Now batting left field. Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. They can take the lead in a variety of ways. So this comes down to the batter's ability to stay in control and wait for a good pitch to do something with. First offering and it just misses. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That's a little bit low. Story stands at third with one gone in the inning. Sliced hard but foul. Kicks and fires. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. He powers that one out of here. And now they're out in front. It's 3-1. Nothing better than hitting a home run to put your team out in front. He's enjoying a fun trip around the bases. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot. A new pitcher in the game, Kirby Yates. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. One down. Now it's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. And first offering is fouled off. All right, Rangers. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Garcia sizes this one up. Hauls it in to away. Now back. Pepper. Wong. Two outs, space is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. There's a strike. Misses inside. One ball, one, one ball, strike. One strike. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in, and we're here at the top half of the 11th. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls and a strike. Breaking ball gets the corner for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that play there. The pitch. That's Swings right. and misses, and the inning is over. Two runs on one hit, the two-run homer. Last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th. It's the Red Sox three and the Rangers one. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Kenley Jansen. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty... Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Ezekiel Duran. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And he deals. outside and that's ball one
Tying run at the plate. And another ball. Fouled off. He was late. Man at second. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swung on, belted. That one is back. And it's off the wall. The run scores from second, and they trail by one. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Marcus Simeon. 0 for 4, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. That Whoop. one finds the zone, and that is strike one. With the tying run at second, and we're in the bottom of the 11. And fouled off. One that ball. one not He's close. Back. Gonna count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. So the tying run at second. And down on strikes he goes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch just misses. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Left hand batter waits. Pitch misses outside. Now 2 0. Oh. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And a pitch. There's a strike. With the winning run at the plate. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. On, Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Adolis Garcia waiting to hit for the Rangers. The 3-1. They say he went. Three ball. Two straight. Payoff pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Adolin. Garcia. Last chance now for the Rangers. Adolis Garcia now at the plate. Trying to deliver as the hero. Oh. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Just missed. With the tying run at second, winning run at the plate, we are in the 11th. That one misses. And now 3 0. through there for a strike. They're down to their final strike. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Dahlbeck drifts towards it. And he'll put it away. Ball game. And the Red Sox strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win. But it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. 3-2 the final score. A one-run extra inning win. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.